Hey, welcome back. So today I have another really nice custom Swiss Army knife that I've just finished up. So this is what I call a super yeoman. Um, some people refer to this as a yeoman mechanic or a mechanic junior. And it gets that name because the yeoman has this basic tool set, except for adding the pliers. That's why people call it a mechanic or that's why I call it a super yeoman. All right, so the scales are from Meton Boss. You can see his little logo, his name over here. These are titanium scales. They have been laser etched. And I really like how they kind of shimmer in the light. They kind of change between like a gold to almost a silver color on this, it's a circuit board design. All right, so these are plus scales, which means it has the ink pen slot. You have your uh, pick, in which this is the newer Victorinox pick. And right here you have the needle. All right, that all comes with the plus scales. And then this side you have the tweezers. Also the newer Victorinox colored tweezers there. All right, so the, the tools have been acid etched and aluminum washed. That's what gives them this um, kind of like a silverish specs design to it. And you can tell the, the liners, they are white G10. All right, so let me go and show you the tools, show you some of the action of it. Before I do that, some people have asked that I weigh the tools, just to kind of give you an, an understanding of what they weigh. So I'll weigh it first in ounces. All right, you see it's 5.4 ounces. And that is 153 grams. Now the titanium scales, what makes them very nice is that they are they're a really hard material, but at the same time they're they're fairly light. All right, so back to the the actual tool setup here. All right, so you have our scissors. All right, then we have the Phillips, the inline Phillips, and now this is the newer magnifying glass. It has a five times magnification. Also, you can tell that the the body of it is clear, whereas the older magnifying glass, the eight times, it has a gray a gray body that's not not see through like this. And another thing to notice is that with this clear magnifying glass, the inline Phillips comes up just a bit shorter. I'm thinking, you know, maybe just just a bit, about like that much. Not significant, but still nothing less. Uh, something to keep in mind. All right, then over here we have the pliers. And, all right, the main blade. Here you can see real well the aluminum, the aluminum wash. A quick little sharpness test on that. All right, so it cuts right through that. All right, then over here we have the combination tool. And like I've said several times, the combination tool uh, it's called just that because it basically combines the, the can opener and the bottle opener. And so, and also the edge right here can be used as a, a Phillips screwdriver. It's got kind of a, an awkward like shape and it's meant intentionally to fit into um, kind of a Phillips um, screw. All right, so anyways, I may someday do a bit of a review of how exactly that works. So you'll see it snaps into 90 degrees and it snaps closed. All right then on the back we have the corkscrew. We have the mini screwdriver that goes into there. And then over here we have the universal hook. All right, so I've several times I've said universal hook, parcel hook. I'd like to know in the comments, what do you refer to this as? Do you refer to this as a parcel hook? Or do you refer to this as a universal hook? So let me know what you call it. I'm kind of curious what everybody calls it. All right, so that is all for this nice knife. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice knife. And so thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe.